This makes me so happy just seeing this. This is beautiful stuff. This is just like a eelgrass garden in here. I've always lived around the ocean my entire life and been drawn and fascinated by the ocean. And certainly once I got to Port Townsend and in the greater Olympic Peninsula, I just fell in love with the natural beauty. Right now it's low tide, so everything's flattened because it's not suspended in the water column. You can imagine during a high tide when all the water is here and the eelgrass is inundated, their blades are up and waving around in that water column. Port Townsend is at the confluence of two very unique water bodies, Puget Sound and Strait of Juan de Fuca. Typically at these points of confluence, uh, boundaries between environments, you have an extra abundance of diversity of life. Eelgrass is a plant, it fixes carbon, it produces oxygen. Most importantly, eelgrass is a great nursery habitat to a lot of the different species of commercial interest to us. Dungeness crab and especially salmon. So it provides a ton of different benefits to the environment. For years and years I said, I'm going to move up here next year. And 20 years later I finally just moved up here. I crab, I fish, I clam, I shrimp. Six years or seven years ago, I became a member of the MRC. I started helping out with the boat and the tools and, and the divers. They were the ones who educated me. I realized what a terrific thing eelgrass is and that we really need it. I'd like to see a continuous eelgrass field between the opening of Chivicum Creek and Hadlock all the way around to the mill and down through Port Townsend and out to Point Wilson. The one continuous bed for the juvenile forage fish, the juvenile salmon. This narrow band of fringe eelgrass bed at best is maybe 100 to 150 feet wide. But if you're a juvenile salmon that's about two inches long, that is plenty of habitat for you to hide in. Eelgrass is a pretty sensitive species. Just like many of our marine environments, eelgrass is under threat from climate change, pollution, physical damage such as dropping an anchor. It's very obvious when you see a scour from an anchor dragging through eelgrass. That's exactly what we're trying to prevent with these eelgrass protection buoys. That line of buoys delineating where a good depth zone is, is, is also a good thing for, for boaters to follow. It's safe practice. I really enjoy working with the MRC. I think we do some really good work, especially with the eelgrass buoys. It's a voluntary program and the boaters have been exceptionally observant anchoring outside the buoys. And the no anchor zone has worked really well. I thoroughly enjoy being a member of the Jefferson County Marine Resources Committee. I think that one unifying factor that we all have as members is that we care about the marine environment. I think this program is absolutely making a difference. 